Bamboo is the giant panda's favorite food. It's also part of China's efforts to restructure industry. Our reporter Ma Ke visited a paper making factory in Sichuan to find out more. In southwest China's Sichuan province, bamboos have been growing for thousands of years. This plant is better known as the giant panda's staple food, but since ancient times, it's been used for another purpose. And the old ways are finding new life at one of China's largest unbleached paper companies. People used to believe white paper is clean paper, so factories add tons of chemicals to make their products look white. It does little good, instead causing air and water pollution. In 2014, Bubble Paper unveiled its unbleached brand of tissue paper. Because bamboo cellulose contains a unique gene called bamboo quinone, a natural sterilizer, the products quickly stood out compared to those made from timber. Normal trees need years to grow back once they're cut down, but bamboos only need four to five months. Its economic value has now been recognized by many southern cities looking for a greener model of growth. Bamboo farmers have more income by providing raw material for us. Our new factory can provide 4,000 jobs. Government is spending less in dealing with the pollution. The bamboo scraps can also be used as nutritious soil for other corps. There's so much usage for bamboo with the technology of biorefinery. Biorefinery is now widely accepted by countries looking to go green. It involves processing biological materials instead of fossils for energy. At the recent China International Bamboo Fair, visitors experienced for themselves how the plant can be put into a different use. Today, we have learned through scientific works, papers and their publications, how good bamboo is for climate change mitigation, but as well for poverty alleviation, for industry, for economy, and uh, for culture. It is very important for us because we have green forests in Africa. Some, some of the countries, and Cameroon is one of those countries, they are logging a lot of trees. Industry is logging it. And we think that if we can develop bamboo, we have a chance to protect the forest. The International Energy Agency predicts the demand for global oil will hit its ceiling in 2030 due to the emergence of cleaner energy sources. Last year, Finland and Germany released plans to abandon coal in the next 10 to 20 years. And the growing enthusiasm for the bamboo industry is just one example that Chinese customers and companies are looking to do the same. Maka, CGTN, Meishan City, Sichuan Province.